Well, hello everybody and welcome to Virtual Church, brought to you by your friends here, Beauty and Sound, Bobby the Cat, Caroline, and of course myself, Richard McVeigh, and Nala may appear at some point as well. And of course we've got all the noises that you get in a normal household. <laughs> welcome to Beauty and Sound. So today is, of course, um, well, it certainly is here at least in, the, in this country, Christ the King. Um, but we also had, excuse me, we also had um, Thanksgiving over in America, uh, celebrated on Thursday. So we're going to have a combination today of Thanksgiving and, and Christ the King. So there's going to be a bit of a concoction of hymns today. Oh, bear with me a minute. Ugh. Try and close those doors. Okay, so crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns. All music but its own. I think someone else is drowning out to the music. <laughs> um, the diameter is the tune. Um, and that sort of sets the scene with Christ the King today. So, Thanksgiving. There. What do we give thanks for? Well, we give thanks, of course, for the harvest. But we also give thanks for our own blessings. So what, is, um, what are we fortunate to have? And we give thanks for those blessings. So... Let's go into um, another um, hymn now. So the, this next tune that I'm going to play, yes, the next tune that I'm going to play is confusingly very uh, called a very similar name to a diadometer, which is what we just had. It's just simply called diadem now, and it's all hail the power of Jesus' name. And this has a wonderful uh, refrain. And crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, and crown him Lord of all. Yes, I was not making that up. That's how many crown hymns there are. He's going to be crowned a lot of times in this hymn. And this has been requested by um, PGM Music. PGM Music. Are you in with us? Let's go. <laughs>
Thank you very much to whoever it was who's donated five channel memberships. To David, thank you very much, David, for your um, very generous gift of five memberships. And welcome to the uh, Herbert Howells Club, Joel. Very good to have you. And Paul as well, welcome to the, uh, to the club. I need to have a look at my pedal camera because something is wrong with my feet. <laughs> there we go. My feet were not moving in the um, in the what do you call it in the previous hymn for some reason. So, <laughs> but they really were. And as somebody pointed out, that hymn is particularly busy in the pedal department. We are, by the way, using the Romsey Abbey organ. And it actually, it's quite nice to come and play this organ here tonight because only uh, an hour ago I was playing the real Abbey organ and the choir division was ciphering. Hmm. So it was unusable. So I, I, I only had the great and the swell and no choir. It was this naughty little um, so-and-so. The four-foot flute on the choir. But it works perfectly fine here. <laughs> and the gambrew as well. Yes, those, it's very funny being able to play these stops here and them actually work because in real life, they are not working. So the joys of uh, help work. Um, William Tan, this is the extended edition, giving us a few more reeds, giving us a 32 foot reed on the pedal, of course, giving us some strings on us uh, as well, some more mutations and some two foot flutes, which the real organ so desperately needs. There they are. I'm going to try something new a bit later on. So just before we get into our uh, top five tonight, we're going to have a new feature where I've actually picked out five of my favourite comments over the past week. So we're going to have a look at some comments and just see who's been very generous this week in their commenting on my videos. So we're going to get head over to Ireland now on our BIS cruise and cruise over into Dublin and head uh, into the church to listen to um, the Hail Redeemer King Divine. This is uh, coming from our good friend Jerry Martin, who sent this in. It's, an, it's, um, it's a traditional hymn in Ireland for Christ the King Sunday, and it's not often heard overseas in this particular setting. Uh, the tune is called Rex, and, uh, and it was composed by Grattan Flood, and the words were by P. Brennan, the uh, editor of this particular hymn book, the Veritas Hymnal, decided not to publish Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Brennan's first name, just to give them a P. <laughs> P. Brennan composed the words to this hymn. And it's a beautiful tune. So, so, this is uh, all thanks to Jerry Martin. Thank you very much, Jerry. Jerry, are you in with us tonight?
Beautiful tune. Thank you very much, Jerry, and thank you very, very much for your donation just now. It's very kind. Let me give you a, a YouTube thanks. There we go. And Nick Knack, thank you very much for gifting five memberships. So we've had a few new members this evening. YouTube tells me that actually since we've started streaming, we've had 11 new members. So 11 new members now have access to the emojis, which by the way, we do need to get updated. I realize that. So we will make, we will do that maybe in time for Christmas, get some Christmas themed emojis. If anyone has any ideas of Christmas themed emojis, I'll be all ears. <laughs> okay, so let's go into another request now, sticking with the Christ the King theme for the time being. Uh, and this one comes in from Peter Bray, who sent in, um, I think, are these words the same? Let's just have a look. Yes, I was just checking. Yes, though the words are the same. I was just making sure that basically it wasn't the first line that was the same. Uh, the words are the same. And, and this hymn book, yay! This hymn book, whichever it is, um, Peter, um, this one does indeed tell us the composer of the words. And it was Patrick Brennan. Patrick, 1877 to 1952. The tune, however, for this one was by Charles Rigby. Uh, it's called King Divine, the tune. And um, yeah, so this is our one, two, three, fourth hymn specifically for C-T-K, Christ the King.
So give me a thumbs up if you knew that one. I didn't know that one at all. So that was uh, new to me. So I, I can't give you a thumbs up. A thumbs up if you knew that one. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually going to be just uh, calling out some, some nice comments that I've been receiving uh, throughout the week. I get hundreds of comments across um, all of my videos, um, social media, and it's very hard to respond to them all. So to make up for the fact that I can't respond to them all, I thought I would just call out some uh, comments here live and um, read them and maybe just respond to them. So the first comment that really struck me is this one. Um, the Dumont Network. This, this chap is um, new, I think, to the channel. I haven't really seen comments by him before. He says, this is a, a comment referring to my um, uh, Virgil Fox arrangement of um, Come Sweetest Death, Come Sousa Todd, played on the organ of Blackburn. And he says, this means so much to me. It was my duty to take out of service an old and tired audio mixing console which had served for many years. So, in front of my engineering staff and a few others who wanted to see what the old funny old man was up to, I played Virgil's recording at full volume, as is the only way that it should be played. I agree, which is why I played it in Blackburn. The last notes ended. The acoustics of the hall went silent. Everybody in the room was silent. After a brief pause, I pulled the master breaker for the last time. After the room had been remodeled, the old console removed and the new super whiz-bang digital console was installed. The first audio that went through it was, of course, Virgil Fox's recording of Symphonia uh, to cantata number 29. Vivace! Uh, my retort to those who don't understand was, to quote Struther Martin's character in Butch Cassidy, I'm not crazy, I am colourful. <laughs> I don't quite know what accent that was. But, um, so the Dumont Network took his time to respond to that uh, video, and I really appreciate that. So. And I was very happy that it brought back some memories. So thank you very much for writing that. Next hymn comes in from Jim Kime. And it's awake, awake, fling off the night. For God has sent his glorious light. And he says, and he wants to tune morning hymn. And he says, I came across this hymn and the words struck me as very appropriate for us who seek to be Christians in these difficult times for our world. And they are difficult times indeed, of course, of everything that's going on down in um, with Israel and Palestine. It's very sad. Uh, so, awake, awake, fling off the night, as requested by Jim Kime. Jim, are you in the chat with us? I can't see everyone's chats because I'm trying to work. Um, if you are, please do say hello.
A lovely tune, Morning Hymn is the uh, tune that uh, Jim requested. So that is the tune that Jim got. Next hymn is a um, pretty much a, a very well-known one here on Beauty in Sound. I've had it numerous times. It's an old favourite here. Wonderful to play, wonderful to sing, and I guess wonderful to listen to, if that's what you're into. Um, Joel says about this hymn, I am a church organist myself, and this hymn was the first hymn I learnt as one of... Uh, it was the first hymn I learnt as it was one... As it, as it was one that brought... Oh, sorry. As it was one that brought me to tears the night I came to Christ. Is what Joel says. Sorry, there was a typo in there which really threw me off guard. Um, but Joel, this is one that is for you. It's... And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood? We have had this, of course, numerous times here on BIS, but for good reason, of course, because it is a fantastic hymn. Ooh, let's not have that just yet. He says, pushing back in the 32-foot reed. Let's just hold our horses and not get too ahead of ourselves. However, Let's say engage tuba. Okay. There he goes.
It's a good tune, isn't it? It's uplifting. It's one of the it's one of the uh, more uplifting tunes, I think. One of the more uplifting hymns. So thank you very much, uh, Joel, for requesting it, and also thank you very much to um, to Mr. Salarski, who's just very generously donated a hundred dollars. He says, "Lift high the cross." Perfect for today. Um, he says, how about mixing it up and requesting any hymn with any of the following stops? Tuba Buralibus, got one of those. We've got, a, we've got a crumb horn as well down here. And uh, a 16, a 323 foot pizzown. Wow, that would be low, wouldn't it? I assume you mean third steep at Reed. Got one of those as well. So, Robert, anything you like. Lift Tire the Cross is a good one. So thank you very much for your um, the donation. Thank you very much. Let's move on to a request now, which comes in this week from Ben. Ben Wallace. Um, and, and true to form, he's sent in a high quality scan, as Ben always does. But actually, Ben, your efforts were in vain this week because I don't know whether you'd requested it before but the hymn in question is already on the iPad so that saved me about two minutes and it is so Ben says it's an old favorite from um, from my much younger days Ben come on Let's, um, let me just quickly, quickly, quickly whip it up. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus to the tune Heaven. So, I wonder actually, a question for you. How many people uh, follow with a hymn book? Um, I'd love to be able to give you um, a BIS hymn book and we all, I can then just say a number. How many of you do sing along with a hymn book? Let me know. So, sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed. He'll prepare us a place. He'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. And there's a little bit of a sort of an antiphonal work going on between the men and the women here. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Well, hopefully don't sing and shout too loudly because he will just be there. So, all right, calm down, calm down. I know you've been waiting a long time, but let's just keep it calm, all right? Anyway, let's have a go. Um, this one feels like a... An uplifting one to me, doesn't it? So let's make it make it so.
I should say, in the harmony, if you like, the people that aren't singing the tune in the uh, refrain just simply go, um, so you have this idea, when we call, and then, uh, then the, uh, everyone else sings, when we all get to heaven, what a day, what a day of, uh, what is it? What a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and then shout and shout the victory. <laughs> I love those sorts of hymns because it, it just turns to carnage. No one quite knows what to do. <laughs> that's, what, that's what always makes it so much fun, I think. Um, thanks, Ben. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for all of your requests. And thank you for your company over the many years. Definitely an, an, um, an heritage listener, I think, is Ben Wallace. So our producer tonight is indeed Josh Wilson. I think you've probably sussed that out already. He's doing a grand job keeping an eye on things and um, keeping very clearly a list of things I've got to do over on that side of the screen. So the main chat is there. And you're in a camera over there somewhere, and Josh and the producers are all the way over there. So I have to look all the way over here to um, uh, to see his chat. Uh, and he actually requested a hymn this week, and it's "Rejoice, Rejoice, Believers, and Let Your Lips Appear." The evening is advancing, and darker night is near. The bridegroom is arising, and soon is drawing nigh. Up. Pray and watch and wrestle. At midnight comes the cry. Good grief. The um, title of this hymn is, a, um, is in Swedish, so I just simply dare not say it. I can say it phonetically, like an Englishman. Haf trons lampa fadig. I apologise to any Swedish listeners in the chat. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah that's the name of the tune it's a Swedish folk tune and it's been requested by our, our very own um, Josh Wilson I've got to tell you something about Josh later so if you want to have a sit on that cliff for a cliffhanger you just wait <laughs>
So what I said a moment ago, I do, hope, I do apologize to any um, Swedish people listening. I didn't ex really expect there to be somebody from Sweden in the chat, but of course there is someone from Sweden in the chat. We are a worldwide congregation, of course. Um, so I, apolog I, I apologized already. Um, so perhaps uh, if you speak uh, Swedish and English, you can write it out phonetically. I think um, I think Doug was good enough to uh, actually write the title, so hopefully um, someone will be able to tell us how to pronounce it. Bill Rayty has requested um, "Lead On, O King Eternal" with tubers flourishes. I assume that's not the um, the first line in its entirety. There, Bill, uh, for, uh, <laughs> for Robert. Thank you very much, Bill, for that for the ten dollars. Okay, so let's now go on to our, we, this is our, do you know what guys, this is number, this is hymn number nine already, we had nine hymns. So Daniel Kubaki says that, Christ the King Sunday, a real banger, he says. Well, that's a good BIS word, isn't it? A real banger. Um, full tilt, we'll give, we'll give this one. Well, we don't know what it is yet. I'm not sure I know what it is yet, actually, where is it? Oh, there is none like the blessed king of Judah. And according to Daniel, this is a real banger. So let's see what we can do with it. It's two pages, which is a little bit annoying uh, because I have to press buttons on the iPad and then waffle as I'm pressing buttons to fill the, fill the gap. Oh, I've had the Falcon Ball open on four score there. So, oh, there is none like the blessed king of Judah, hailed by the world, his reign shall be. Light of the soul and of ages everlasting, oh, there is none so great as he. And it goes on. Fanny Crosby is the, um, the composer of the tune. The words are by William Dunn. Oh, thank you. Pleasure. Hello. I had some of this earlier, it wasn't very nice. Oh, dear. It's still not very nice. No, it was greatly improved. Oh, good. I think it was a soup that was making it taste funny. Right. Ooh, it's fizzy. <laughs> Don't drink fizzy drinks whilst talking to the Hello, internet. Barbara, you can't get rid of the heart next to the chat, I'm afraid. It's a new YouTube feature. Yeah, you well, just have to yeah, ignore it. Yeah, sorry about that. Or you could press it and send us some love. But yeah. we know you love us anyway, so. Maybe if you press it, it disappears, does it? No, it just gives a heart. The hearts fly up the side. Like this. Whoosh, whoosh. what, sorry? Whoosh, there you go, look like that. Just like that. There you are, look. <laughs> but I think you can change the emoji. So does it, if you change the emoji, can you... Um... Oh, I don't know. Oh, someone's given 100% there and some hearts. Ah. Oh dear, if they can change the emoji, next thing we know, there'll be angry faces and... No, like someone just give up. Exasperated faces. Oh look. oh look! Oh no, they're all doing it now. Look. Oh, oh look! Oh, right. oh look! We've Come on, started I'm something. going to crack on before it degenerates even further. Oh, um.
Does anyone know that one? Apart from Daniel, obviously. I want to have a word with whoever's typed out this hymn and say, now look here. You have to type it out neater. Don't space it out so much. Um, and use stems. You know, join them together, beam them together with stems. It's very, very hard to read, I find, anyway. Okay, so, just a couple more hymns. I'm going to get into our um, top five tonight, which is a sort of a, it's a combined effort tonight, the, the, uh, the top five. But before we go on to the next hymn, I'm just going to draw up another comment, which comes in from Craig Delaney, who made a comment on Caroline and mine, uh, recording of the American National Anthem and the um, America the Beautiful. And Craig says, he made a home safely with a light snow on the roadways from a great dinner and shows. That sounds much fun, doesn't it? Opened up YouTube and listened with a smile. America the Beautiful was great to hear, but more than that was to listen to the often unsung other lines. The verses, the four, the really four, but the three verses, didn't we? We of this country need to hear those lyrics sung again in the halls of power to remind the people that hold those offices what they are there for. Beauty in sound has provided the beauty of sound and also the beauty of our musical history. Thank you and thanks for giving us all a healthy helping of good music. Now, thank you very much Craig for your comment, that's very generous of you. I, I do by the way uh, um, see all comments on across all videos um, but as I say I just simply can't reply to every single one so I'm just trying to respond personally to some uh, ones that really stand out in the past seven days. Um, hands up or thumbs up if you've watched my Advent and Christmas hymns video that I put online last night. If you haven't... Hooray, we watched it. We did. And um, what did Hugo say? Uh, two of daddy, two daddies. Oh yeah, when you two did the screen, two daddies. He <laughs> then said three daddies. If you haven't watched it yet, didn't that you in for a real treat? And then after the first carol, on. he said, finished. Shish, shish, which is what he said. Finished, finished. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite yet, not quite yet. <laughs> Yeah, Sean, you, you got to go and listen to it because you're in for a real treat. It's um, it's it's um, it, it really is a full send, as thanks they say. To, um, thanks loud. to Carol, oh. who said that I should sing the American national anthem at the Super Bowl. That's I'm really flattered, but I think probably not. <laughs> oh, I'd be a fraud, wouldn't I, as what, an English lady? What a I British need? Lady, I'm not English actually. I'm Scottish, but English, British. <laughs> So Caroline's just going to go and do me a little errand, fetch me a, a book, um, because a request has come in um, from another Daniel, which we'll get to in a moment, um, and it's very, very exciting. And it's, um, it actually is featured in last night's video. Thank you, just pop it there. But before we get to that, we're going to have a request which comes in from Marcus. Um, and this is a, a hymn that isn't, is, it's no stranger to beauty and sound by any stretch of the imagination. It's quite a, it's a popular one here, undoubtedly. But Marcus um, didn't actually give any reason for requesting it, um, which, you know, it, which is absolutely fine. It's a completely optional. But in the BIS requests form, there is a field where you can uh, leave a reason for requesting, and people often do. Um, but Marcus hasn't. So... It's the well-known tune, Melita. Of course, it's the words, Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm has bound the restless wave. So we had this, um, we've had this a lot. We had it on um, Remembrance Day. We had it on, we have it on Sea Sunday. We have it on Trafalgar Day. Lots of times when this sort of hymn, this hymn is um, appropriate. So Marcus, if you're watching, there you go, Marcus. Hello. As I said, yes, we had it on remembrance. It's a wonderful hymn. One of my one of my favourites. So let's have a let's have a listen to it now.
as Marcus says, from rock and tempest. From rock and tempest, fire and foe. As you noticed, hopefully we had a little bit of fire and foe coming from the depths of the Romsey Abbey organ. Benjamin Yao says, Richard once mentioned this hymn being used in the soundtrack for Crimson Tide. I do, and I mentioned uh, that because it's a very poignant and slow recording of it. Um, and it's used to great effect in that film. Crimson Tide is obviously, a, of course, a film about um, being a submarine. So it's all about being on the, on the sea. Um, Sorry. Put on silent for those people in the back, please. <laughs> you always tell me off for having it on silent. Yes, but when the time is right, it needs to be on off silence, but the time is not for it to be off silent now. Etiquette in the, here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> um, quiz question to anyone, as well to you all really, um, what is the main tune that Hans Zimmer, who composed the music to Crimson Tide, what is the tune that he uses as his inspiration and backbone to the soundtrack, Dunkirk? Any film buff in the, in the chat will get that straight away. So. This is what I sent Caroline off to get from the, um, my office because Daniel Spears has requested one of his favourite hymns. It suits both the solemnity of Christ the King and the Sundays of Advent to tie the end of one liturgical year to the beginning of another. And I quite like that. I think that's a really... Um, a, a, a more well thought out thing to say and actually requires a little bit of thought. So perhaps as we listen to or sing Lo He Comes With cr uh, Clouds Descending, perhaps we can think about what Daniel has just said. Uh, let me say that again. So this suits both the solemnity of Christ the King and the Sundays of Advent to tie, to tie the end of one liturgical year to the beginning of another, because of course Advent is the start of a new liturgical year. So let's have a look at these words to see, to follow ben, uh, Daniel's example, and very, very mini sermon. Lo, he comes, with clouds descending, once our favourite sinners slain. This really, really did sound extraordinary on the organ of Blackburn Cathedral. And if you haven't yet seen my Advent and Christmas video, this is featured very much in that video and it will blow your socks off. Particularly the final verse with the David Wilcox desk count. Okay, well, let's have a go. This is a little bit of a, a, a teaser as to what it might sound like at Blackburn. In fact, it will sound completely different on this organ. But this is for Daniel, Daniel Spears.
one of the great hymns, of course, for the season of Advent. Oh, come quickly, come quickly, oh, come quickly. Deeply wailing. All these words that really stand out as words that I just really used to blow my mind when I was much younger. Deeply wailing. With what rapture gaze we on those glorious scars. Um, it's a good tune, isn't it? And of course, the desk count there by David Wilcox. So we have one more hymn, which come, um, one more requested hymn, should I say, which comes in from Jonathan Priest, who um, requested a really nice hymn just to sort of wind down the, uh, the hymn requests section of Virtual Church this week. It is the day thou gavest. Oh. What oh. is going on? She's wet. Well, why, why have you brought her over here then? Because I wanted to bring her to the camera to say She's hello She's soaking. To <laughs> you need to go and get the towel. Look. <laughs> look, he's next on the... No, look. He's getting the organ bench, oh, soaking no. wet. Oh, poor Nala. No, my poor Nala. Poor oak wood. You know, it's got a nice... And now she's standing on the council nice, choir's book. Uh, whatever it's called. Go on. Varnish, lack go of finish. Get, I'm sure it's waterproof. Go and get her dry. You're, you're going to be soaked as well now. No, she's not that wet. And I've got a wet leg. I've got a wet paw print on my leg here now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, how, did I even finish announcing that hymn? I don't know whether I did, because I was interrupted by a wet cat. Jonathan Priest has requested, The day thou gavest, Lord, is ended. The darkness falls at thy behest. A tune by John Ellerton, um, and the words are by Clement Schofield. No, I think it's the other way around. It's confusing, isn't it, when all you have is a name on the left and then another name over on the right. It could be either or. The tune is called St. Clement. And I don't know, I don't know. I can't actually, at this point in, in my life, remember who composed this. It's either John Allerton or Clement Schofield. And then the other person wrote the words. I wish they made it clear on these hymn books. I don't know how you're meant to know. Let's just have a quick drink of this before we get into it. Daniel Kubaki says, Every time I hear this hymn, I think of Dawn French singing as the vicar of Dibley. Hmm. Interesting.
There we go, and that brings us to the end of the pre-requested hymn. So thank you very much to Jonathan Priest for requesting that. I know Jonathan's in the chat. Um, Jonathan has been around quite a lot recently. I think Jonathan might be a new listener. Might, might have got that wrong. He might, have, he might be a short, a short-term listener. Archie, we are using uh, the, the BIS's own sample set. Oh, I just put that in the chat. As Caroline has just beat me to it. It is indeed, it is indeed Romsey Abbey. And if you went into Romsey Abbey right now, you would not be able to use the choir division. Why? Because it's broken. Oh no. It is ciphering. Oh my goodness. So it's a very strange feeling coming home and being able to play this four foot flute and it not cipher. And basically, um, you just cancel all the stops in the choir, and they all they all just sound. So as one of the sliders has got stuck, probably caused by the humidity or damp or well, that's the same thing, isn't it? Damp humidity is dampness. Um, Who looks after the organ? Is it Walker? It's still Walker. Yeah, it always, nearly, well, pretty much always has been Walker. Are they quite it? good? Do they come quickly when you ring them to say there's a problem? To be fair to them, they do. Yeah. Good. They do. To be fair. Yeah. Where right. are they based? Whereabouts? I don't know where they're based. Don't know. Sorry, I'm asking random questions. I know, yeah. But People no, might I don't be know. interested to know this sort of stuff. I think your microphone's facing the entire the wrong direction, by the way. It's upside down. And now they can hear you fiddling around with it. The microphone's on top. <laughs> Give it to Nala. Right, so, before we get into our uh, top five uh, tonight, so they top, this top five is, bit, is a little bit different to normal. It's going to bring up another comment on the screen, which comes in from Richard Pond. So I'm actually just drawing your attention to some comments that I've received this week. I love receiving your comments, and I, I do, I promise, I read them all. I just can't respond to them all, but I see them all. So Richard um, said, Richard, that's me, asked on a past video what we did during the video. Do you remember me asking you that? I certainly remember asking at you. And Richard's answer, he says, my answer is settle into my recliner and enjoy it from start to finish. He has my total attention. And I like that comment because A, that comment proves that he was listening to me. Because I, di I did ask you to let me know what you do uh, whilst you listen to BIS. I know some of you do your accounting during BIS Virtual Church. I know some of you go to the gym I know some of you are listening to the car, and Richard, as he just said, sits back into his recliner, hopefully with a, a stiff drink, feet up, and listens to BIS from start to finish. So, again, I ask you, what do you do whilst you listen to BIS? And Gregory says, <laughs> this is for the, um, for our Carolina Mine, uh, American National Anthem, and the uh, America the Beautiful. He says, thank you, Caroline Balfour. This was so beautiful that she made Richard appear to be a competent organist. I liked that comment. It was very funny. Happy Thanksgiving from your American parishioners. <laughs> well, thank you for that. That's very kind. <laughs> it takes a lot for me to sound like a competent <laughs> organist. I was just about to say that. It takes a lot. It takes a and lot. If Caroline is that thing, then I don't know. We'll oh, have to get, Nala does a we'll lot have to of coaching. Get her on the channel more often. Every day, Nala's coaching him to help him along, aren't you, Nala? <laughs> okay, and then the final comment, which uh, came in this week, uh, actually was from uh, Daniel, who made a comment on this um, video called "Music of Cathedrals," where uh, you can hear the choir of Westminster Cathedral, conducted by Martin Baker, who is uh, no stranger to beauty and sound conducting his wonderful choir of Westminster Cathedral uh, in plain song, plain chant, beautifully accompanied by uh, Peter Stevens. And he says, um, and underneath all the music, you can see my drone footage of various cathedrals. He says, this is spectacular. My favorite is having the text and translation so it's all in Latin and I've translated the entire thing. I've always longed to know which Psalms are being sung and the videos are gorgeous. Um, are of gorgeous churches are just the uh, cherry on the top. So Daniel, uh, thank you very much for 
that. So if you haven't watched um, Music of Cathedrals, I, it's a, it is a beautiful video. Uh, it's beautiful for sort of meditation, to chill out. It's a very sort of um, background music, thoughtful music. So if you want to put something on whilst doing something, I urge you to check that one out because it, 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 it's perfect for, uh, for concentration, for mindfulness and for meditation and relaxing. Okay, and then finally, which then takes us into the next section, um, this is a, a comment which comes in from, how did, I don't know, uh, Jeff Lewis, um, again, on this Thanksgiving video, but this actually is relevant. Thank you, um, because we are celebrating Thanksgiving today in Virtual Church. Uh, thank you to Caroline, to Richard and Caroline for your great renditions of our national anthem and America the Beautiful. Growing up in the Methodist Church, the two hymns I remember most vividly associated with Thanksgiving are We Gather Together, sung to the tune Kremser, and Come Ye Thankful People Come, sung to the tune Windsor Castle. I think the tune and text of the latter are of English origin. I love to hear the, uh, those two if you do another Thanksgiving spot. Well, we are doing a Thanksgiving spot right now. Even on my church's, uh, even on my church's tiny um, George Kilgan and Son pipe organ, St George's Windsor always thrilled me. Never cared about the words. <laughs> the chord progressions just take my breath away. I'll bet it would sound amazing in the hands of a talent like yours on a large English cathedral organ. Well, as Gregory, um, where is it? Is it that one? It must be this one. Gregory says that I can occasionally be a competent organist, so let's see if I can make um, these, these hymns sound good on an English cathedral organ. Even though this is not a cathedral organ, it's an abbey organ. It's the right sort of size though. So this is our top five tonight. It actually has been compiled by um, the, a, a group of us, uh, so me, Caroline, and the producers. So Ian Garden contributed towards it as well, actually. Um, let me just quickly get it up on the right-hand side of the screen. There it is. So of course, what do we give thanks for? What is Thanksgiving? Well, we give thanks for everything we have, um, uh, we, uh, our blessings, for everything that we're fortunate to have. It's, whether it's family, uh, good fortune, life, happiness, we give thanks for that. And we also give thanks for the harvest. Okay, so we celebrate harvest day here in England, um, which is the same thing to Thanksgiving as well. So, um, we got five hymns, hymn, five hymns coming up, which are relevant to Thanksgiving. The first is an absolute almighty banger. Uh, it's, that that needs to be a, that that needs to be emoji, doesn't it? Banger or banging? We, no, I don't like that one. Actually, no, I'm not going to have that one. <laughs> I do that a lot. I say something, then I change my mind very quickly. It is Nundankat Aligat. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices. Who wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices. First hymn in our Thanksgiving special tonight.
So that was my first, or our first uh, favorite hymn for Thanksgiving. Next one, um, which Jeff mentioned in the comment just now, is Come ye thankful people come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. It's definitely winter here at the minute. It's very cold and very wet. God our maker does provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple. Come raise the song of harvest home. Once again, the tune is called St. George's Windsor. Uh, and the tune is by um, Henry... Henry Alford. Alford. Let's just see if we can do a little bit of something cheeky with the final verse, shall we? Because Jeff mentioned the harmony, so let's just see if we can spice the harmony up a little bit. Not that it needs it, of course. It's already fabulous. Okay, let's go.
<laughs> Matt says, love it. Epic. Epic. Thank, Thank you. you. And well, James, he asked for a trumpet fanfare. James fan Palmer says, <laughs> and Gregory Potter says, amazing. Banging. More. Gregory Potter, I'm very pleased to be your favourite, sometimes competent organist. I don't, by the way, um, I don't know if you saw this in the chat, Richard, because the chat was moving quite fast at the time, but when you asked what is it that we give, for which we give thanks, yeah. Maurice said competent organists. Well, I don't know where we can find one of those around oh, here. Oh, look. Oh, no, not another one. Someone we can give thanks for. Not another one. Look. Is she wet as well? No, she's dry. Sorry, Bobby, that was, a, that was something I tripped over. Are you destroying the film set, the studio? At least she is not wet. <laughs> no, she just was talking about Thanksgiving and thought she needed to be us to say thank you to her for being her. Isn't that right, Bobs? Okay, so number three in our um, request, uh, our uh, request, number three in our top five um, hymns for Thanksgiving actually was suggested by Jeffrey in uh, in that uh, comments that he. He left, we gather together, he says. So indeed, we gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He um, chastens and hastens his will to make known. It's the tune, uh, Kremza. Actually, and this hymn book gives a little bit of context. It says down here, this was first published among songs celebrating the end of Spanish control of the Netherlands. This text's a blend of patri patriotism and, pi um, and piety has made it popular at Thanksgiving Day services. The tune is named for the Vietnamese arranger whose male chorus popularised it. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of context for you right there. Um, now, it looks like it's, well, it's going to be a, an uplifting one. But let's not have it uplifting straight away. Let's go in to it softly. That was Bobby. Uh, noise in the background. That was Bobby. Studio. That was Bobby's tail. I'm trying to get her squeaking on my microphone there because they'll love that. They'll love that. Who's they? <laughs> the congregate. There you go. You just heard it then. A Bobby squeak. The congregation. Don't 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 encourage her. It was over rather quickly. Maybe it was a bit too fast, but actually I had the right sort of feeling about it, didn't it, I think? Bill thought it was perfect tempo. Thank you very much, Bill. That means a lot. Doug Allardyce, however, says that my family leans more towards beef for Christmas. Which <laughs> <laughs> just goes to show what they're talking about. And, <laughs> and Thomas says, of course, 
<laughs> fully stuffed turkey, goose or duck. <laughs> David Wright says, no more turkey for us. <laughs> and then Doug Alderdice says, oh my, Tim, I have a pet rabbit. <laughs> See, they're a lively congregation. Abstract There's something for comments everyone. in the live chat. <laughs> right, so that was, um, yeah, that was one of our uh, top five for uh, Thanksgiving. Number four in the, um, in the uh, Thanksgiving top five. Oh, a good chap is going to chicken out. Oh, dear. You can always rely on our congregation for a good pun or two, can't you? We like a pun around here. I, don't, I haven't got it. Could you, um, could you find me that one, please? Oh, yeah. um, and I'll play, I'll play the next one, which actually came in, Ian Garden suggested this one. Keep it down in the background, please, in the studio. We are live. Um, in the day of Thanksgiving, which um, just has to be, you know, in the list, doesn't it? In the day, come on, iPad. Oh, why, why are you not very good at? There it is. In our day of Thanksgiving, one psalm let us offer for the saints who before us received the reward. When the shadow of death fell upon us, upon them we sorrowed. But now we rejoice that they rest in the Lord. To the tune, St. Catherine's Court, composed by Richard Strutt. And the text was uh, written, composed by um, William Henry Draper. And this is our, we're nearly in the live requests. So if you have live requests, if you've made one, we'll get into them after this um, section. Okay. This is, a, this is a gorgeous tune. I forget who it was who requested it last time, but it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, flutes on the crate and the swell. So we are using Romsey Abbey, as I've said a few times, and Romsey Abbey is due an, a, a significant update very soon, um, largely to the user interface, uh, to the, the way the stops function and also quite a few um, audio enhancements as well so if you're looking forward to buying Romsey Abbey a sample set you've got something very much to look forward to I think it would make a great stocking filler
It's very interesting to see that that was new to a lot of people. That was new to me only fairly recently. I now know it from having played it here on VC. Uh, I don't think I ever played this before VC, if I'm honest. Um, so I'm not surprised people are saying that they don't know it. Um, those people who don't know it, are you where I where are you in the world? Are you in England or are you elsewhere? I just wonder where this tune is popular. I don't often hear it sung here in this country. So if you know it, where are you? <laughs> okay, so the last hymn now in um, this section. So these are, these are um, our uh, top five favourite hymns for the um, Feast of Thanksgiving. Can't have anything to do with giving thanks for the harvest or for fruit or for farming, for crop, for all of that without having for the beauty of the earth. We should also be thankful for our, our uh, animal friends. Um, poor Daniel Kubaki lost his hamster last night. Hmm. Um, and he's, he, he's obviously feeling very sad about that. So we should be thankful for our pets. All creatures, great and small. Yes, indeed, which actually was a, a contender for this, this section. Um, but we didn't make it. Sorry to hear that, Daniel. Your hamster will be running on the wheel in heaven. The heavenly wheel, you could say. The ultimate hamster wheel. <laughs> um, Philip Scott says that, yes, he sung that St Catherine's Court hymn a few times down in Exeter. It's interesting. It's certainly used in Australia, says Barbara. In Australia, yeah. There we go. So here we go. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to thee we raise this our sacrifice of praise. This our joyful hymn. Pardon? Praise. Why are you singing that? It's a John Rutter version. I know, but I'm not playing that one. No, I know, I'm just saying. That's the bit that no one can get right. The no, no, the setting of no, this text. The choirs can't get that rhythm right and conductors can't conduct it. Hilariously. Right, yes, for the beauty of the earth. And now is a good time. People are starting off the... Um, people are starting off. Give me your location. Plus one and your location. Let's see how far reaching we are uh, this week. Let's see if we can find someone who's in a country that we've never had before. Mm. So keep an eye out everyone. So where are you in the world? Just going to actually just draw your attention to a misprint, a bean natural in the score there. So, uh, how you know I was playing what was on the page? Would you like a different edition? Oh, it's the that's pretty shocking. Kevin that, isn't Mayhew. It? Well, there was there were misprints in all hymn books. The NAH is littered full of hymn book um, uh, typos, which is why the NAH got up to what version 18, 19, or 20 or something. Here you are, look, have another version, look. This one's, this one's all right. I have this one. I'm happy with this one. No, I don't want to hear any more of those notes. No, but I, I, I know it's there now, so I won't do it. <laughs> that was just, just reading what was on the page. Should we try again?
Well, that was the top five hymns that we could come up with for Thanksgiving. So a quick recap as to what you just had there. Now thank we all our God. Come, ye thankful people, come. We gather together for the beauty of the earth, which you've just heard, and in the day of our Thanksgiving. So five, I think, wonderful hymns uh, for the season of Thanksgiving, which is relevant to people wherever you are in the world, not just, of course, over in the States. Uh, regarding right. the locations, I yes. don't think we had anywhere new, country-wise. However... Well, we had somebody um, up a mountain, apparently. Exactly. Robert Selaski is on top of a mountain in North Carolina. I think if Robert's, <coughs> if Robert's listening live, I think Robert deserves the prize for the most dedicated listener right now. Well, we don't know. It might be a... We don't, we don't know. It might have good internet connections and things. It might be quite a civilised mountain. We don't know. I'm just imagining him in his walking boots, in his, um, in, the, in his walking gear, rucksack on, headphones in, wind blowing. Speaking of which, lift high the cross is one of his requests tonight. You would have to lift it very high to get it up the mountain, wouldn't you? <laughs> but if it's Snowdonia, yeah, or Ben Nevis, absolutely. Okay, um, what is the highest mountain in America? by the way. So, yes, so lift higher the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Well, we have a load of experts in front of us, so um, exactly. no doubt we'll find out in about five seconds flat. Oh, Mount McKinley. Where's that? Mount McKinley, Mount McKinley. Mount McKinley in Alaska. Oh, there you go. How does it compare to Snowdonia? Oh, I don't know. Or Ben Nevis. Or Everest. Jameson Wheeler says, Howdy, Richard and the crew. Or well, howdy, Jameson, how are you doing? Robert says, I am correct, but headed back to the sauna soon. <laughs> Mount Mitchell on the eastern part of the country, just about 45 miles away. Oh wow, it was about four times the size of Snowdonia. That's a serious mountain. <laughs> Everything in America is big, isn't it? They don't do things by halves. Everything is big, especially the mountains by, by the sounds of it. So lift high the cross for Robert, who is indeed trekking across the mountains.
There we go. So that was part of Lift High the Cross, because as Philip has just said, there are 12 verses plus a refrain. Um, so that's quite... So this hymn is, is absolutely designed as a processional hymn. Uh, perfect for Christ the King. And actually irrelevant, you know, a procession with Christ carrying the cross. Okay, that wasn't an easy task for him to have done. And we could probably, we could probably have sung maybe, I don't even know, 412 verses of this before he got to his destination. I don't know. So, but anyway, so that was, I think we had six verses there. So half of them. Robert, thank you very much for your donation tonight. Uh, and thank you, of course, for requesting that. I had, did I, am I just misremembering it? But did Robert request two hymns yes, tonight? Yes, he has. We'll come to that one later. Oh, fine. fine. Um, so I have Sorry, some I'm inside information on the heart um, next to the chat. Apparently there are five emojis to choose from. Heart, laughing, confetti, well, well, surprise, and 100. Percent. Yeah, you can see it on yours. Okay. Can't you? If you if you got yeah, your, I'm just, uh, Josh, I can't see it on here. Josh, we yeah. need to tell everybody what's going on with Josh well, today, don't we? I, I, do I? Am I? Have I got permission to say? Definitely. Okay. Well, it, it's, Josh is our producer today. He producer is extraordinaire, but also it's his birthday, isn't it's it? It's so, his birthday today. So we should say happy birthday to Josh we because sing he's sing happy birthday to Josh. Well, because he's um, very helpful. He always keeps us on track. He is, just does it without question. He and James Palmer tend to do it between them. So I'm very grateful to both Josh and to James. And we should all just say uh, happy birthday. No, I think we should sing. Come on. Well, I'm not going to sing. Come on, I'll sing. do it. I'll do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, my Come on. Goodness. Come on, everyone sing at home. Have you heard her sing? Blimey. Good chap, he's lit the candles on the cake. <laughs> Come on. I think it might need more, rather more cakes than that, good chappy. One more song, more candles on that. <laughs> um, Can hear some more? <laughs> Just hands and... Happy Josh, I have many happy returns to you. Hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. And yay, thank you for um, helping us out. And yay for birthdays. <laughs> Has anyone else got a birthday today? I wonder. Was, <laughs> see, the chances are that there is someone else with a birthday today because we've got 270 other people watching. So the odds are stacked in the paper, uh, you know, that it might be someone else's birthday today. <laughs> it could be, we could be here all day singing happy birthday to people. <laughs> So before we sing happy birthday to many more people, Philip Scott was harmonising. <laughs> Let's go Excellent. into the next, into the next. Which um, is, I think, appropriate for Christ the King. It is lead on, O King Eternal. I'm just looking at Philip's um, uh, pictures, avatar. Are you, are you in a chair? But are you in a car? Are you in an aircraft? Looks like you're on a, run a runway. Now, Carol. You ask a question, when is yours and Caroline's birthday? Well, I've had my birthday, however... Not for a long time yet. However, Richard's birthday is quite Come soon. Come on. It's very soon, in fact. No, it's not. It is, it's very soon. Well, it may be soon, but it's, every, day's, every day's a birthday, isn't it? Oh, uh, good chap, put it out there. Every yes, day Richard's is birthday a is indeed the 4th of December. How did you good chap know that? Because he knows everything. <sighs> well, <laughs> yeah. So, um, because we may have it, yeah. I have my so it's next was week. It this year it was on a Sunday. Everybody, yes, it was this everybody year, messaged yeah. me in the chat, it was wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Well, but Richard didn't sing because he didn't like singing. A very thoughtful people. The in only the chat. time Richard sings is yeah. when he goes into a cathedral and he's got the camera on for you so you can hear the acoustic. He goes, Oh, and listens to the enormous. <laughs> Just <laughs> like that. Exactly. Yeah. Was that like your best Chewbacca impression? <laughs> <laughs> that was my best Richard McVeigh impression. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, right. Thank you very much for that. Who is this for? 
And which one is it? Because there are two hymns on Bill, my... Bill, sorry. Hang on, Focus. I'm in the wrong chat now. I need to get back to my producer chat. Bill Rayty, I think. Um, lead on O King Eternal to the tune Lancashire. Is it Lancashire? Um, yes, it is. With Tuba's Flourishes for Robert Salaski. Oh, yes, because Robert Salaski did put a list of stops he wanted you to choose. I think you're using them anyway. Tuba and Robles, Crumhorn, and whatever that means. 16323 Pazal. No, it was a typo. Whatever that means. I don't There's know 16 foot and a 32 foot. Ah, right. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, there you go. So lead on. Lead on, O King Eternal. The day of March has come. Henceforth, in fields of conquest, your tents will be our home. So that, that one was lead on, oh, King Eternal, the day of March has come to the tune Lancashire by Henry Smart, great composer, English composer. Um, and words were by Ernest Shirtleff. Shirtleff, not shirtless, Shirtleff. Um, I just need to, you, you just need to talk a minute. I need to find the 1982 hymnal. It's on my music desk. Oh, no, it's on... Well, you should be doing this whilst I'm playing the previous hymn. So it can be slick. It needs to be slick. Seamless into the next hymn. Rather than me having to make up words. I was laughing at no, that's too much. It's meant to be slick. Now there's a gap. 614. Gregory Potter. Christus Rex. Christ is the King. Number 614. This is for Gregory Potter, everyone. Oh, Richard, you're meant to be, you're meant to be professional here, I'm, presenter, you're meant to be filling in. I was I'm waiting for the next hymn. Uh, can't just keep waffling. Yeah, Christ this is, is this the. This is for Gregory. Hello, Christ. Gregory. And he says he often goes back to Johnny's improvisation, Happy Birthday. That's what I was talking about while you were playing that last hymn. We were all good. reminiscing on your birthday last year when Johnny Bombard was here and he did a memorable improvisation on the theme tune of Happy Birthday. 
it was memorable. I'll leave you to go and On the Hawks Regal. It was uh, actually, yeah, it was one It of, was funny because Richard gets quite grumpy. One of my best VCs. Richard that gets I've quite done. grumpy about his birthdays these days because he's getting older. So he commiserates Not his getting, birthday. And, and Johnny, Bom Johnny Bombard's improvisation was quite gloomy at the beginning and, it, and very grumpy, and it, ma it made me laugh a lot. It became very cheery at the end, but the, the beginning was quite moody and grumpy. And I thought, that's Richard, down to a T. Thanks. Grumpy and moody. I'm not about your birthday, moody. yeah. Right, so this is for who, sorry? Gregory Potter. Gregory, of course. Gregory, the one, of course, who um, thinks that we ha have a competent organist. Thank you very much, Gregory. I know you're joking. Okay, a tune called um, Christus Rex. It's a good tune, that. By David McKinley Williams. Requested there by Gregory. Thank you very much, Gregory. I know you're joking, don't worry. The next, um, the next hymn is Robert Selaski's second request. Oh, yes. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And he um, specifically asked for the tune King's Western by our friend R.V. Williams, Rafe Vaughan Williams. Oh yes, okay. Oh uh, yes, this, I've forgotten about this tune. Yeah, it's not, it's not the first tune I'd associate in this country with it. But any tune by RVW is a, a winner in my book. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him, King of glory now. Tis the Father's pleasure we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word. Ray Fon Williams composed the tune, King's Western. Sorry, I just need to borrow this for a minute. No, no problem. Okay, let's have a go.
very Vaughan Williams esque, that one, isn't it? It is. Very sort of modal. Okay. What's this one then? The next hymn. I know. That's My Redeemer Liveth. Yes, indeed. Instead of a tune Messiah Aria. Soprano. No, it's not. It's oh. the tune Hannah, I think. Okay, great. This was from Christy Jurinek or Jurinek. I'm not sorry, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name. Okay. Christy Jurinek, I think, but I might be wrong, sorry. Yes, I, I don't have any more detail um, than that. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, let's have a go. Um, so that's an F natural. Despite it being an F sharp there, I'm sure. Okay, so from for Christy then. When you're very welcome, Christy. You're very welcome. Is anybody listening today for the first time, by the way? If anyone is listening for the first time, give you a big shout out because everyone is welcome here on uh, at Beauty in Sound Virtual Church. So anyone new today? Welcome Isaac, you are apparently listening for the very first time and you're enjoying every moment of it. Well that's good to hear, it's probably more than some of us then, especially when cats are on the prowl and things are falling over in the background. 
That was Bobby's tail. It had absolutely nothing to do with me, by the way. Who was in charge of Bobby at that moment in time? Well, Bobby was in charge of Bobby, of course. We humans are never in charge of the cats. They're always in charge of us. That's what they'll have you think, but you need to control that cat. <laughs> so, next, next is, is... Brady. Brady Kilman. Mm. Thy strong word, Ebenezer, full or grown, or as loud as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Not so loud, because both uh, our two young children are sleeping right now. Um, but we'll go, we'll do what we can. Um, Brady, I won't give you all the verses because there are six here and uh, six long verses. So we'll have maybe three of them. So, thy strong word did cleave the darkness at thy speaking, it was done. Okay, that's, we'll tell you what, Brady, let's. Um, what I like to do with these sorts of things is start quietly and then work it up. So we'll start quiet and then we'll do a big crescendo. Is that a, nice, is that a compromise? I think so. Okay then. All right, so let's go. That's, that's not how it works. You can't just hold my iPad in front of my face and, and to unlock it. it. I 
need to hack it. I need your face ID. I needed your face. Well, it's, it works, doesn't it? It's not a very secure method. It's like having, you know, the, uh, the older iPhones relied on your thumbprint. All you can do is just hold someone's thumb on the phone and it unlocks. Right, the last right. I'm going to get you a slightly better... Um, uh, no, but still, it's on... Is it, it Rejoice the Lord is King? Yeah. It's on here. Uh, this it's... is the last request, and it's coming from Benjamin Yao, and he's dedicated it to our friend Josh on the occasion of his birthday, which I think is nice. To the tune Gospel? No. Dar no. Darwall. Oh, okay. Not that one. Although that one's really good. Perhaps you should do, do both tunes. I haven't really got... Okay, well, let's do this. Let's um, see what... It's a good rousing way to finish. I've also have it on good authority that we should play Christ triumphant ever reigning as it's uh, Christ the King day to day. Have you, you haven't played it yet, have you? Not today, no. no. Nobody, nobody requested it. No. Uh, we had it at, well, actually had it at Romsey this morning. No. And no one thought to request it for VC tonight. So, Darwell's 148th, uh, requested by Benjamin Yao. For dedicated to Josh. Jo de de dedicated to Josh Wilson. There we go. So thank you very much, Benjamin. Yeah. And if somebody would like to sponsor Christ Triumphant, of course we'll have that before we go into the voluntary. That is a favourite. It is. Let's see how let's see how favourite it is. And then let's see if anyone wants to ever sponsor it. And then we'll have it. But meanwhile, rejoice, Lord is King, your Lord and King adore. Rejoice, give thanks and sing, and triumph evermore. Lift up your hearts, lift up your voice, rejoice again. I say, rejoice. <laughs>
Rejoice the Lord is King, sponsored and requested by Benjamin Yao for Josh Wilson, who's celebrating his birthday today. Thank you very much, everyone involved with making that happen. <laughs> okay, so we did have... Um, Kevin! Hooray uh, uh, for Kevin! Thank you, Kevin, for sponsoring uh, what I think will be tonight's final hymn, Christ yeah. Triumphant, Ever Reigning, to the tune Greeting This is a very Power. good tune. Christ Triumphant, Ever Reigning, Saviour, Master, King, Lord of Heaven, our lives sustaining... Hear us as we sing. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Give me a thumbs up if you know and like this hymn. Well, thank you very much for Kevin for sort of stepping in at the last minute to sponsor one of the great um, hymns, of course, for Christ the King. So we've had a real selection uh, today of hymns for not only Christ the King, but also for Thanksgiving. So this week we've celebrated both of those festivals. And so it's actually quite a nice occasion to combine the two. We can, obviously, they are related. Christ the King, we give thanks to Christ. Uh, there it is. We give thanks to Christ. So they uh, overlap very, very nicely. And I think those people who are still in the chat 
and uh, those people who will be watching this back. If you've made it this far in the catch up, so if you're watching this after the event, I think we should leave a comment on the video simply saying we give thanks to competent organists. And for Bobby's tale. No, we give thanks. <laughs> we'll do that one another time. <laughs> oh, I've changed it now. We give thanks <laughs> for competent organists and Bobby's tale. <laughs> the randomness that Beauty and Sound gives you, where else do you get the hat? So, whoever leaves me a comment um, on the video saying we give thanks for competent organists and Bobby's tail gets a special BIS treat. What that will be, I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a go then. This, this is, I think this, this was requested by Daniel. It was. Daniel Kibaki, thank you very much, Daniel, for In memory of his sending this hamster. through. It is the Prelude and Fugue by the great man JSB, JS Bach. Um, Prelude and Fugue in C major, BWV uh, 540. What's going on? Thank you very much, Robert, for your donation. 545. Thank you very much, Robert. Let me give you, let me give you a, a, a small appreciation. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. Here's the Prelude and Fugue in C major. Okay.
Well, that was the Prelude of Fugin C Major BWV 545 there by J.S. Bach. I think we should give thanks to J.S. Bach. Yes, we should. Um, and I would thank, I think it was Daniel, Daniel who requested that one. So thank you very much, Daniel. And that draws to a close uh, to Virtual Church today. Don't forget to leave um, our secret comment on the video. We give thanks for competent organists and Bobby's tale. That was her contribution to the secret, um, to the secret password. I think it was Roger Kingston who said we give thanks for all organists. Of course we do. I know, but it's not as much fun, but, is it? But there was the joke, wasn't there, but, this but week about the competent the organists. The joke is, it's only a joke, we give thanks to competent organists. <laughs> just so I know who's watched to the very end, basically. I just want to know who's watching and who's listening. Um, okay, so I'm going to call it, uh, call it tonight there. Uh, if you haven't already, please do check out the Advent and Christmas uh, hymns video that went on Beauty and Sound yesterday. If you haven't watched it already, it's quite something because it's on a very, very epic organ and the hymns sound like you've never heard them before, I think. Uh, so it's well worth checking out. Uh, you'll find it. Um, so, and it's the end of the church year, so we should say thanks for, for for being with us over the last um, church calendar year. Well, yes, yes, indeed. Well, yeah, yes, I suppose we try to follow the seasons, and yeah, we've got, um, we are at the got end a busy of season coming up, though <laughs> a busy month coming yes, up. I know, but this is the end of the church year, isn't it? It yes. is. It is. Yeah. New so, beginnings next week. New beginnings, indeed. A new song. Okay. So, as uh, Gregory Potter has just said, cheerio, everybody. You take care and um, you stay safe. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Josh. Thank you for being a brilliant producer. Yes, and thank you, Josh, for your awesome producing. And thank you to everyone Enjoy the rest of your who birthday. has donated tonight. It's very kind, everyone. Take care. You stay safe. See you next time. Goodbye.